Skill-based matchmaking is worse than ever, honestly, in Warzone 2, and everyone's out there trying to find the best solution to get into those easy lobbies, get into those bot lobbies, and actually enjoy the game. Well, lucky for us, the developers of SBMM Off, which was the best VPN for getting into easy lobbies on Warzone 1, they've been working really hard to get the VPN updated and working for the release date of Warzone 2. I actually made a video for SBMM Off back in Warzone 1 showing you just how good it was for getting into easy lobbies, so it's really awesome they've partnered up with me again for me to actually show the application now for Warzone 2. The VPN has the exact same effect that it had in Warzone 1, and I covered how good it was back then. If you head to the Discord, you can actually check all the results people are already getting running this with Warzone 2. It really is the real deal, and I'd highly recommend that you go check it out. I've even managed to hook you guys up with my own code, 4 VPN that you can use at checkout at the link in the description if you want to go check out this application. It has absolutely revolutionized Warzone 1 for absolute ages for me, and in Warzone 2, it's going to be even better. SBMM off is not a traditional traditional VPN, like NordVPN or Surfshark or something like that. What those VPNs do is they reroute your whole network traffic through a different IP, which if you were then trying to connect to COD would cause you to have incredibly high ping and wouldn't work out nicely at all. What SBMM off does is it only reroutes a small bit of the network traffic. And that bit of network traffic is exactly what the matchmaking process uses when you search for a game. Essentially, the game thinks you're connected to a very distant server. It will struggle to get you in a game with good ping and skill-based matchmaking working. So uh, it confuses the game overall and instead chucks you in a pretty much random skill lobby based on just your ping. Because of this, you'll end up in a ton of low skill, low KD bot lobbies. So in terms of getting the VPN, all you need to do is go to the link in the description, as I mentioned earlier. There you can purchase the VPN. It costs $60 or $56 with my code 4 VPN at checkout. Make sure you do that. The upfront fee of $60 might seem a lot to some people, but this is going to actually be less money than you would pay for a subscription-based model that many of the other competing VPNs use. Once you've purchased, you'll get an email through with a link to the latest version of the VPN that you can install, and you'll also get a link to the Discord where you can chat with the devs, you can chat with people in the community. It's a really active Discord of people talking about their best setups that they've used to get easy lobbies, and it makes the whole experience of using this this VPN so much better than any other VPN I've used in the past. So I'll give you a quick rundown of the application, how it works, how you get it set up for Warzone 2. Starts off by opening up and giving you guys a login. So this actually does have its own kind of front end GUI that a lot of the other VPNs don't have. Some of the ones that use like an open VPN client. It's nice that this actually has its own uh, kind of GUI that you can play around with and it works really, really smoothly. So before actually jumping in and selecting a server and actually trying to connect, you want to come to the settings area and click update server list. What this will do is grab all of the latest servers that the devs have put in. Uh, the devs are putting in a lot of servers into this constantly because the more servers they have, the more potential you have to actually get into the, some of those easy lobbies. Uh, different servers will work out better for different people, so I can't sit here and tell you what the best server is. What you can do is go to the SBMM off Discord, and what that will enable you to do is actually just see what other people's results are. It's a really, really good community of guys over there. You can actually chat with the developers as well, uh, and they can give some recommendations on stuff. They are very, very active over there at responding. So head over there and you can get some more interesting ideas on what servers might actually work out the best. You've also got some nice features in here, like running the program automatically at Windows Start. That way you don't have to actually come in here and open it up every time you want to use it. It will just be running and then you can select a server quite easily. If you're someone who just plays Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2, then I would recommend you turn this on just so it's always there ready for you to use. You've also got some nice options here to fix connection and clear cache. If you're just having problems connecting in general to the servers for whatever reason, then you can try running both of these uh, and that should fix all your issues as well as then updating your server list again just to ensure everything is as up to date and fixed as possible. We can now start choosing what server we want to connect to before we load up the game. The first thing you need to do is select your NAT type. The reason we do this is because if I select a random setting up here, but then I change my NAT type, it deletes the server from up here anyway. And that's because the server list uh, isn't exactly always one-to-one. -one. There might be more open servers than there are strict servers at different times, but this strict NAT type is a very unique and very, very useful option that SBMM off has that many other VPN providers don't give you. By selecting strict NAT, you're actually limiting down the potential lobbies and the potential player pool that you can be matched made with 
with because having strict nap makes matchmaking harder and harder matchmaking typically means you might get thrown into more of those bot lobbies. You can then come to the drop down and actually select your region. There's an absolute ton of them here that we can select from way more than we had in Warzone 1 originally. And as I said, they are constantly adding new ones here for you guys to try out. So go to the Discord, see what people are recommending. Some of these seem to work better than others. For me, Kazakhstan and I think it was Chile have worked out pretty good for me already. Um, but I'm going to have to keep trying out different ones at different times of the day. There's a lot that goes into this. It's a bit of trial and error. So select a server that a lot of people seem to think works well and see if it works for you. I'm going to choose the Chile server here. And then after all is said and done, you should just be able to click connect down here. You'll get a status of connecting. And fingers crossed, if nothing goes wrong, this should turn to connected in a second. And there we go, connected up nice and easy. That took about 15 seconds. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer. Uh, if it's just sitting on connecting for ages and you're having problems, once again, go into the settings, uh, run the fixed connection and the clear cache, and then maybe update your server list, and it should then allow you to get connected. All that's now left to do is load up the game. Before we search for a game, it's important to check if the VPN is actually working with your game. To check this, come to the settings, then go to account and network and click network info. From here, you can see my geographical region is Santiago, region Metropolitana de Santiago, CL. CL means Chile. So it will have the abbreviation of whatever the country was that you selected in the VPN. And then just to really prove it's working, my NAT type is strict. Now, when I'm not running a VPN, my NAT type is always open. So the NAT type here should match what you had set in the VPN and your geographical region should match the... Uh, country that you selected basically that way we know that the vpn is running in terms of squatting up and who should host the lobby and whatnot just make sure that the party host has the vpn running so if only one of you in your squad has the vpn then they need to be the party host However, really important thing here, if you've got multiple people with the VPN, even just two out of the four of you in your squad, then having both of you in the party with one of you two hosting actually improves the performance of this VPN and the amount of bot lobbies you can get. It really just seems to multiply every time you add someone using the VPN. If you manage to get all four of you using it, all connected to different servers, it really throws the game off and you can get in some really insanely easy bot lobbies. Before you start hating the game because of skill-based matchmaking, go get yourselves SPMM off VPN. Use my link in the description below with my code at checkout for a discount and we can all start having some fun with this game. Cheers for watching guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.